Hello friends. Uh, I'll I'll draw I'll take an example. I'll and I'll draw the stick diagram in three steps and I'll show you how good it looks on paper if you if you draw the stick diagram in three steps, okay? So let us consider an example. So in the last lecture we are done with the nor nor gate, right? We are we are done with the nor expression. Now we'll take example of two input NAND, okay? So yeah. I hope it is visible to you. So I don't have proper facilities with me to record all the videos. So see I'm um, let us take okay wait. Yeah. Uh, two input NAND gate, right? Which is nothing but A dot B whole bar, right? So this is A dot B expression for two input NAND gate is A dot B whole bar. And as there is bar, as there is complement there is complement over the expression, our first condition is satisfied. And we can proceed for the next we can proceed for the static stick diagram, static CMOS diagram, and then we can draw stick diagram for the static CMOS diagram. Okay. So let us draw uh, this, okay? So this is dot, right? You remember dot in the case of PMOS is nothing but parallel right dot in the case of nmos is series right so let us draw here uh, yeah in first a pull up network is pmos right in the in case of pmos dot indicates and indicates what dot is nothing but and right so dot indicates what a parallel so both a and b will be in will be in parallel in uh, upper network pull up network so here see this is a and this is b so both the pull-up transistors, uh, PMOS transistors are in parallel here. So this is your VDD. Even my handwriting won't be good. So please adjust, okay? And here uh, A dot B in case of uh, pull-down network is uh, in, in, in pull-down network what do you have? NMOS transistors, right? For NMOS transistors dot indicates series. So this is your A and B and this is your ground so you're done with the second step CMOS static CMOS circuit diagram so for this static static CMOS circuit diagram you need to draw stick diagram okay and I've said uh, we have four steps right so let us start with the first step step one so what is step one first step first step is VDD and this is my ground right so as we have see two transistors here will have what two inputs two, as we have two inputs and two transistors you'll have uh, pull up network indicates pmos right so pmos is nothing but your lo p diffusion region is uh, drawn by lo right indicated by lo line so this this is for your a and as both are in parallel you you just uh, indicate some distance here so this is your a and this is your b right and here both A and B in the pull down network NMOS transistors are in series right exactly beneath this exactly beneath this see this is my A in the pull down network and in the same line because they are in series right this is my B exactly beneath this so I am done with my first step so I am redrawing it again here so let me pause so I have redrawn it here again see can you find any difference between these two circuits no right so <laughs> I'm just I've just redrawn it here. Our step, uh, our in in, our, in the second step, we need to indicate polysilicon. We need to draw polysilicon, right? So drawing polysilicon is just your second step. That's it. So you're done with your second step now, okay? And if you want, you can even indicate the uh, you can even indicate this as A and this as your B by taking a metal contact, external metal contact, and uh, what showing external metal contact with black dot, okay? And I'm redrawing it again. Uh, in the in the third step so I'm pausing the video see I've just redrawn it here that's it right can you find any, any difference between these two uh, lines or these two diagrams no right so in the third step what we need to do is we need to indicate all the metal contacts right so here see in the circuit uh, two ends of uh, one end of A is connected to one end of B and that is connected to VDD right so here see one end of my A will be connected to the other end of my B and that is connected to my VDD this is my VDD line and this is my ground line so and next see here one end of uh, A is connected to one end of B and that is connected to my output 
right see here this is one end of my a and this is other end of my b and that will be connected to my what this is my output but you need not you should not uh, indicate the contact with the blue dot it is with black dot you please remember it okay and okay we are done with the pull up network and coming to pull down see one end of a is connected to one end of b right so this one end of a is connected to one end of b and again indicate it metal indicate the contact with metal sorry with black dot and one end of and one end of a is connected to my output right so this is one end of my a and that will be connected to my output hmm? and one end of b is connected to ground so this is only end left here and this will be connected to my ground so yeah this is black dot and this is black dot so you need to take external contacts like c this is my black dot again so this will be my a and here also even and this will be my b see how good it looks see now if you draw step by step he'll definitely give you 10 out of 10 marks i get i bet <clears throat> and the same procedure is to be followed for any stick diagram or for any static cmos diagram this the same procedure the same procedure should be followed so let us discuss some more examples based on these stick diagrams and let us solve more complex and complex circuits let us draw more complex and complex circuits uh, with the help of these three steps so this is all for this lecture don't hesitate to share the knowledge bye bye thanks thanks for watching my video